We're going to look now at a small collection of uh, mid-19th century American juvenile chapbooks. And they all will contain uh, wood engravings and woodcuts. Here's one, for instance, of eating at a table with a cat uh, in the foreground. This is a very simple, basic one. Um, this is published here in Western Massachusetts in Northampton. Uh, it's called Duties of Children. And like so many uh, of the chapbooks of this era, these tend to be instructional. Again, we see children reading books, um, which is a very common theme. A child in a graveyard paying respect to the deceased. Um, an interior scene, child reading a book with the mother at the table. Here is Concord, New Hampshire. Rufus Merrill, a well-known publisher of juvenile books, uh, chat books. Um, yeah. Interesting. Yes, this is okay. 16 pages. Many of these are 16 pages. Here's Washington's Farewell Address in 1796, published in 1829 in Norwich, Connecticut. This book here has had a... Uh, oh, this is incomplete, actually, right? This one is incomplete. Stops at page, looks to be 18. So, I'll put that there. This one has had a very early and fairly crude cloth repair to the spine. Uh, it's interesting because the front cover has a boy playing with a hoop and stick. It's 1850 New Haven by Babcock. And here's his toy books uh, advertisement, Superior Engravings. Uh, he was also another well-known publisher. But what makes this interesting here is it sports and rambles in words of one syllable. And you'll notice that this date is 1850, but the title page is 1849, which means that chances are they, the publisher reissued this particular book and just put a new wrapper on it uh, as time went on with a different date on the wrapper. Here we see a mother and child with a pet dog. Uh, we see here two children. Uh, doing a lookout with a flag behind them. Again, a mother with two children. Here's a, two children playing with a toy boat. Um, interesting. Sail home. So there's that, and that's complete. And here is The Good Boy, published out in Northampton as well. And this one is 1839. Someone has trimmed the top of the title page. That is almost always done to remove a signature of an early owner. It's a kind of a needless exercise done while the person was probably either still alive or had just passed and they were going to get rid of the book or sell it or something, donate it, and they didn't want the owner's name on the title page. Uh, this item is really fascinating because it represents something you rarely see which is a chapbook which is still uncut as it was printed. And so this is the way a chapbook would have originally been printed uh, from a single sheet of paper and then uh, folded up like so and like so and like so and then trimmed and stitched and issued with a wrapper. This is uh, circa 1810 or so. I believe it's an uh, English book, the only English book I believe in this lot. The rest are American. Here's another Babcock uh, a juvenile book. This is more of a luxury one by comparison to these other smaller chapbooks because this one here uh, has a, a profusion of images within it uh, including numerous full-page images, uh, as well as this profusion of these tiny decorative miniature images right here, which are truly fascinating. This would appear to be, for instance, boys playing with a stick and ball. I don't know if that's baseball, but it is definitely a game that has uh, some relationship to the game of baseball. Um, Let's just see here, so we'll flip through it. Uh, 
Oh, dutiful gem. Um, honest plowman. Yes, man with his daughter and horse. Here's a mother interior. Okay, there's that. Then the final two items are two different uh, versions from the 1850s of a periodical uh, aimed at children, which is a very early um, a magazine publication. Um, look at this, a Choctaw Girls' School. This has to do with Native Americans. Um, very interesting uh, connection to Native Americans. Perils of a Missionary. Huh, look at that. Interesting. Oh, look, there is a panoramic bird's eye view of a town in South Africa called Hanki. It's a station of the London Missionary Society in South Africa. Interesting. Huh. Yeah. Uh, the dying Indian boy's love for the Bible. Huh, huh. Yeah, this is published at this press here in Boston. Okay. The final item is this illustrated uh, cover uh, on this periodical, the Youth's Day Spring from 1855. Again, we see Native American Indian uh, names here, Cherokee newspapers. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, and here's some part about uh, a story about uh, the Turkish Empire, uh, a meeting at Utica. Ha! Ha! Look at that, a tree house. Ha! Huh. Boy reading. And a mission, it's called a missionary's house. Look at this. This would appear to be African Americans here. Uh, and this woman is handing out clothing to them. And you see missionary lessons, witchcraft. Here's a little uh, short article around about, oh, signs and omens. Look at that. Uh, oh my goodness. Importunity of a, of a Jew. And this is very interesting native teacher, Rarotonga. And so this uh, interesting lot of 10 juveniles, mid-19th century, is available on my website, bryandymambro.com.